I recently moved to St. Petersburg, Florida. Gorgeous area, living in an amazing penthouse that you'll see on future episodes of RSC. And I was thinking, hey, what's the closest houses that are right by me? Well, turns out, my friend, we're in the hood again. You see, they can't get me away. So now I'm back in the hood and we are gonna be uh, slinging some solar and making some money and helping out these people out here. Hi there, welcome to Real Sales Dynamics, where we break down infield sales footage in order to get you better at door knocking. Of course, you can click subscribe so you can see more videos in which I'm getting barked at by dogs in St. Petersburg, Florida. Today, we're gonna to be knocking doors all over this great neighborhood to try to save people hundreds of thousands of dollars and their utility bill. So let's get to it. I understand why people keep their gates closed here. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Man, that gas station was wild, dude. We'll see. Yeah. Is this still the, the Brown residence? Hey, my name is Carlos. Good to meet y'all. Um, did someone from the meter team come and knock your guy's door in the last week? What they were following up on was just a notice that got sent out to you from Duke. Do you remember getting that about your, your electric bills going up? I don't remember because I haven't, the matter of fact is, I haven't looked at my mail as yet because I'm the one who goes through the mail. Okay, so you go through the mail. Okay, so I'll, I'll be brief. Basically, all I was explaining was that due to some recent changes with how we're getting our energy, Duke Prices, who's your electric company, just went up an additional 28% this year. So houses like this, where you guys would have been spending, you know, $150. Actually, how long have you owned the house? Um, not long? Okay, well, I'll just, okay, not long ago. I'll, I'll just fill you in real quick. So basically the way it works is houses like this, just a couple years back, we're spending about a hundred bucks a month in their electric. And now y'all are spending closer to 250 to 350. Is that about right? About how much are you spending right now on your electric? Less than $200? Yeah, the kids come by and then they turn on their laptops and all the other things and all that stuff. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll let you know, that's actually good because for certain houses, if you guys have too much shading or anything else, you can't benefit from the discount on the, for the program. This program is actually made for low usage houses like this then. Um, so you're telling me you're spending about 180 on the high end, 120 on the low end? What, what is it about? Okay, so I'll, I'll explain. There, there's a federal subsidy that helps cover the cost for houses out here to where instead of you spending 180 and that just continues to go up, it lowers your bill closer to about 80 to 90 bucks a month and then it never goes up, right? Have you guys looked into solar before? Not really. Okay. Well, the, the way that your neighbors out here, like Diane who lives uh, a little bit further down the street and then I got Jacob down that way, the way they were both able to go solar on their houses they didn't have to pay anything out of pocket for it. They put the panels up and then just lowered their electricity bills. And that's all I'm trying to do is to see if you guys are actually eligible for that program. So the way that we find out, and I'll show you real quick. So for your bills, you do you handle that via, um, do you get it like in the mail or do you get a, a, a electric bill? In the mail. In the mail, okay. I'll show you, it's, it would look like this then. So we just take a look at the bar graph on page one of the bill. That lets us know exactly how much electricity you're using month to month. And then from there, we're able to drop a report and to see if it makes sense for your house. If you guys were able to spend $100 a month instead of $200 a month for your electric, would you agree that's a good thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's all I'm trying to figure out right now is basically if the house is eligible. So I got to do two things real quick. One is I need to take a look at the bill. And then second is take a look at the meter to see if that was updated. Is that on this side or this side? It's a brand new house, so it's, it's not a meter that someone can break into to um, oh. like people who get into their meter and get the current and just pay for it. Oh, that's, I'm just talking about the meter can. It's, I'm just making sure it's, it's an MC12, is that's what it says on the side, because that allows for the, um, for the electricity to go back into the grid from the panels. That's all that does. It's called it's called smart meter. It's right beside the car. Uh, it's it's right right inside the car. Okay, so if you can go ahead and grab the bill, I'll take a snapshot of that and then I'll get the report back for you. I'll be back in about 30 seconds. Okay. okay. I'm uh, Carlos, by the way. What was your name? Eugene. Eugene. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go check the meter and I'll be right back. 
Do you find yourself scrolling solar videos all over the entire internet? Maybe you're in solar right now and you're lacking the type of training that you're seeing on real sales dynamics. Or maybe you're just that lone mortgage broker, car sales guy, or Walmart employee who's looking to make a major change in their life for the better. Well, we have a solution for you. Right now, we have a couple slots open for a solar boot camp. One going on in San Diego, California, and another one going on in Tampa, Florida. Click the submission below to see if there's any slots left. See you guys there. This is the company I work with, by the way. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot for, uh, let's shoot for next uh, Saturday around 2 p.m. Okay, got it. So I'll shoot for uh, uh, 2 p.m. So I got all the information that I needed on your end and then I will be back next week. So Eugene, it was wonderful chatting with you. Okay. Okay, good to meet you. Talk to you soon. Yeah, look up and then walk out of here. Howdy. Didn't mean to set up the, do the door alarm. Oh, sorry. That's my girlfriend's dog. He's loud. Oh, that's fair. I'm Carlos, by the way. Good to meet Carlos, you. Carlos, That's, Colin. that's hey, Garrett. Good to meet oh, you. What's good. going on? Not an issue, man. What kind of dog is it? Uh, a little wiener dog. It yeah. sounds like a wiener dog. Yeah, you know, it's like all the guts. He's aggressive. He's cute. He's so the reason I'm stopping by is someone from the meter team should have knocked your guys door in the last two weeks. Did anyone stop by to fill you guys in? No. Okay, so Not all that I know of. Okay, yeah. so, so all they were doing was they were following up on a notice that got sent it to you from Duke, your guys' electric company, yeah. about the rate increases going up again. Okay, wonderful. Right. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you know why that is? Why they keep going up? Because it's a corporation and. It's, yeah. <laughs> It's a little bit, the, yeah. the, the, the technical thing is just that uh, they switched over Big Ben, which is our big energy hole, over from uh, coal to natural gas. And so everyone's rates went up when natural gas prices went up. Okay. And so now there's a mandate to get 100% of our power in Duke and Tico territories coming from renewable sources. So that's like tide, wind power, and solar. And so that's why there's been an uptick in at least some of the houses out here that can benefit from solar going solar. Uh, so what happens is okay. they cover the cost of actually installing the system on the house. So you're not paying anything out of pocket. Yeah. That's why there's, that's why you see like 23 houses in this neighborhood. They didn't have 50, 60 K to just spend on solar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They put the panels on the home and then what it does is it eliminates the Duke bill and then you just have a solar payment that's way less than what you're currently paying. Right, right, right. Now on flat roofs like this, it can sometimes be a difficulty. Is there any slant on it at all? Not. I've only looked up there once. Okay, yeah. got it. And about how much are you guys spending? <laughs> I don't really know what no, the utilities, utilities are. are. <laughs> well, the thing, it could, Probably it, 100 bucks? It, well, that's the thing, is like, this yeah. is a weird house. I mean, where, I pay 70 bucks in my apartment. Yeah, well, because you're in an apartment yeah. usually. But the thing is, is, like, the windows are a little bit on the thin side, so there's just a potential that you're spending at least like 150 bucks a month. That could be. Yeah, yeah that with, could be. With, with the electric prices just kind of going up. Yeah. Is, there, is there a better time she's going to be by? Ah, she's back. She, she's gone for like 10 days. So all you, all you got is me for the next 10 days. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. But yeah. drop by. Yeah. She'd yeah. probably be interested in talking. You seem like an all right guy to hang out with I'm for okay, the next 10 days. You know? Yeah, yeah. You, know? you guys are all right too. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to send you over. Um, if you can send it by, let me check it real quick. Are you an 813 or a 727? That is a very aggressive wiener dog. Oh, my dog. God. Yeah. There you go. It's always the tiny ones. I know. They're overcompensated. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, know. Big, I, I know how it is. Yeah. He's it's like a huge my gigantic truck. Ex <laughs> yeah. exactly. I have to compensate someone. <laughs> like my Hyundai hatchback. <laughs> You're not compensated for anything. <laughs> Hung like a horse. Um, but let me, uh, here, let me send you, you my info. Yeah, 706. Uh, 247. But a lot of us moved to Ontario in the 1800s. So Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Well, cool. Okay, so I just sent you a text over. So right, man, I'll hit you up. Uh, Carlos. Carlos. Oh, Garrett. Garrett? Yep. Cool. Yeah, and I'll nice hit you guys back up and hopefully we can get the solar free house. Yeah, man. <laughs> so you got me. Let's do okay, it. sounds good. Take All right, thanks, Colin. You have a great day. So, Colin was great. Uh, his uh, girlfriend is actually the one on title for the home. Obviously, you don't want to have too much of an interaction with the person who's not actually on title for the house. But if they have a meaningful relationship and you're winning that person over, it's always a good thing. So we got, went ahead and went to a group chat with her so that we could schedule a time 
uh, to come back out and uh, close that deal in about two weeks here. That's why it's really important that you keep up with your customers all the time. Every single time that you lose a customer, you're literally losing tens of thousands of dollars. So constantly keeping in communication where you're keeping yourself as a prize is the surest way to ensure that you have a wonderful career in this field. Hey, buddy. Are you, hey, are you, are you Harvey by chance? Are you, are you Harvey by chance? I'm Harvey. You Harvey? Okay, hey, my name's Carlos. This is Garrett. Um, did someone from the meter team come and talk to you guys this week? The meter team? The meter team? Yeah. What team is that? Okay, so uh, th they're, they're in charge of the redirection program in the neighborhood. Basically what happened was that in the last three months, your guys' electric bills went up about 30%. Did you see that on your bill? No, my daughter did care of that. She's not here. Your daughter's the one who takes care of the electricity bill? Okay, so she takes care of the bills and everything else. Okay, so yeah, I need to talk to the to the folks who are actually in control of the bill in the house. Uh, but when do you think she's going to be back? About six. Okay, got it. Well, that's nice. All right, perfect. So what I'll do is I'll come back around uh, around six, most likely tonight, and then we can see if we can help them out. Okay? Huh? Uh, here, let me get your number real quick. Okay, I'll make sure to call you guys beforehand and then I'll pop back by at six. All right, you have a good day. See you, little doggy. Thank you. We've got a couple leads. It's only been an hour and a half. Let's go make some more money. Hi there. Hi. Hey, my name is Carlos. This is Garrett. I was just uh, following up with everyone who already had solar in their house. Yeah. I just wanted to know if you guys are still getting billed from Duke or you guys are in a pretty good spot. Um, I mean, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's not working great and I actually need to find out where the people who sold me this house bought it from because it's not putting out as much as it's supposed to be. Really? Did you get the Enphase app for the I system? I have no idea what that is. Okay, can I just make a quick suggestion because I've been in solar for a while. So y your system ha has Enphase inverters um, in it. You could tell because of the, um, here, I'll show you real quick. And you're not the only person who's run into this issue, so I figured I'd just Like, I don't know what company this even came from. Okay, so. Which sucks, because I don't know who to talk to about it. So when you bought the house, was it one of those things where you didn't even sign any paperwork for the solar itself? Yeah, no, it was already like. It was that. just literally popped on. And the reason I was even knocking too is, there's no way that amount of panels would cover 100% of the power on this house. Yeah, no, it doesn't. No, I was figuring you still have like 130 to like $150 utility bill. Yeah, I guess so. right around there. So it's at least doing something for you. Um, but so the the inverter manufacturer, the inverters are what's converting the power from um, direct current to alternating current on the side uh -huh. of the home. Do you have a do you have a do you have a box like an inverter box by your electric panel? I have no idea. You can come check it okay, out. Okay, let's to. go check it out real quick. How long have you been in the house? Two years. I'm Carlos, by the way. I'm Riley. Riley, good to meet you. Come on in. I've noticed people either moved here two years ago or 30 years ago. Mm. Hey, buddies. That's hey. my um, roommate's dog. Okay. He's, he's okay. He, he just looks scary, but he's playful. Okay. They just all kind of look the same to me now. So, yeah, how can I tell? Is there anything back Okay, there would... should be another box. Tell you where the... No, I was wrong. You have a solar edge. So... 95% chance this company who installed your system is Sunrun. Sunrun. Sunrun, okay. right? Now, Solar Edge, that's the inverting manufacturer, uh -huh. and so they always have a warranty on those for at least 10 years. So if you want to figure out who actually uh, oh, okay. placed the system on the house, you can call up Solar Edge. They might ask you for the information on the side. Oh. And so um, from there. Well, can you stop by today? Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> So if, if, you, if you call them up, they can usually let you know who's the actual initial installer of the system. Now for your, your bill um, with Duke, does it at least show you, hey, you're producing this amount of power? Yeah, and that's been going down. And then since my housemate moved in, she's like being kind of ridiculous with the thermostat. She's like putting it on 67. Oh, got it. I'm like, sister, this is Florida. You're freezing like, meats or? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so our my bill is usually fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. And then, but since my 
the housemate has been here, it's gone up to 200. Okay, oh, that, that, about, yeah. that about checks out, because the, the system itself, usually they have the CAD layout on there, but they don't, which is weird, where it shows you the exact amount of panels and the types. Mm -hmm. My guess is, just looking at those, those are monocrystalline panels, those are okay. 370 watts. So, um, you're probably only producing 9,000 kilowatts a year on it, and a house this square footage needs roughly 14 to 15,000, oh, which is okay. why you still have a bill. Okay. Um, so, in, in a lot of cases, um, what we do with those is you, you basically have two options. You can just continue to pay Duke. The only thing is, is that Duke went up 28% this year. Mm. They're just going to go up. So, yeah, part of it has to do with your roommate is the reason why you have the 200, but that's just going to escalate as you go by. And the whole idea is, here I'll show you real quick, this is where your Duke bill is actually supposed to look like. Because Duke's actually great when you have solar, because the way they set it up is that you can get a net negative bill to where they give you money back at the end of the year. So it's a negative $105 bill. Mm -hmm. That's what's actually supposed to happen with those systems. I'll show you my latest bill. Okay. It's like, it was like, like, boop, 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 like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I called and I was like, okay, are my solar panels not working very well? Or like, what's the tea? And then the lady was like, actually, they are not working very well. She's like, they're not putting out as much power as they used to. By the way, I understand your roommate having 65 because it does feel wonderful in here right now. Um, it's on 72 right now. Got it. Uh, well, this 72 feels great. Feels way better. 96. Yeah, she's. Yeah. Okay, so actually, this isn't too wacky. The, the system's doing really great throughout most of the year. This isn't even wouldn't even require an add-on because it's just 1419 for July and August, which are the hottest months out of the year. Mm -hmm. So. My biggest suggestion for you is you don't you honestly don't need new panels. Okay. Um, you I would just call Solar Edge, um, who's the, the the maker of the, the inverter. Um, they'll probably tell you to get their app. It'll monitor the system itself. Okay. Now those inverters are, are those are single inverters. Most houses out here have micro inverters, so each panel is independently monitored. This okay. is just one. So if there is an issue, you may end up having to replace the inverter. My guess is you won't though. Okay. I mean it's just realistically those two months out of the year. You should be good to go. I would give them a call though, just to be proactive on it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, of course. Thank Hopefully you. it was really helpful. Yeah. And again, if you have any other questions or if you know anyone else that needs solar, just let me know. Okay. I sure All right. Will. Thanks. Bye. You have a good day. Cool. So whenever you're new to a neighborhood, it's always a good idea to knock on a couple houses that already have solar. One of three things is gonna happen. Either one, they had an amazing experience with whichever solar company they're using, which means that you can use them as a reference in the future whenever someone is questioning the idea of going solar as a whole. Two, they had an absolutely miserable experience. Then you wanna to talk to them and make sure that they're not talking to all the neighbors about it and honestly try to figure out if you can help them in that situation. Or three, they had a great experience, but they might just need a couple more panels. And so you can kind of figure out things. In uh, Riley's case right now, I was able to assess that the solar situation at her house is actually pretty great. Outside of one month in which she went a little bit over in the amount of uh, power that she needed. And honestly, she got a great deal because the house came with solar. She never actually paid for it and hasn't had the utility bill for two years since she's been there. So if anyone ever asks, is it a great experience? Whenever you buy a house with solar, the answer nine times out of 10, it's amazing. And we get free water. And we got free water. <laughs> Cheers. And that wraps it up for today. Make sure to click subscribe in order to see more videos of real sales dynamics. If you're looking to change the career path you're currently in and want to make hundreds of thousands of dollars every single year, make sure to click the submission form below. We're currently hiring in Tampa, Orlando, Miami, and all across the entire country. But most importantly, click one of these two videos. YouTube thinks you're gonna like it a lot.